What's up? I'm Coach Perry, and I got next. You next up, and you ain't been on sports like talk. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, you better hit him up. Look, you breaking next, and you up next. Keep the coins go hard. Rise a star on the big scene, make them know who you are. You don't break a sweat, don't set up for less. They put you through that test. Your resume that flex. Who got next? Who got next? SLT, ready to go. Who got next? Who got next? Living my dreams and all your goals. Who got next? Who got next? You can ask B. Jones or head coach. Who got next? Who got next? You next up, so here's my vote. Chill. SLT Nation, welcome back to another fire episode of Sports Life Talks. You got next a platform that gives exposure to the voices of tomorrow, rising stars in our community who are doing big things and living out big dreams. And today, we pay homage to one of the dopest, the dopest positions, and that is our African American female head coaches who are out there just grinding day in day out helping to move the culture and shift the focus and today we got a special one to me that's right we go back to my stomping grounds the 318 stand up show your boy some love we got associate head coach Nitra Perry in the building how you doing today coach I'm doing great how are you Oh, but 17 years. I, I, I'm just glad to be in the room with you. You've been coaching <laughs> hey, all, all, all SEC. You, you know what I'm saying? You, you got the juice. So I'm excited about this show. Check this out. If this is your first time joining the show, I first and foremost want to say thank you. You made a good decision. Second off, I would like to introduce myself. I am your host, the mouth of the South B. Jones, the Louisiana Mr. Yeet himself. I'm rocking alongside of my brother from another mother, the co co host. The head coach. I get I get a little fumbled up, Kevin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I know. No, nah, you don't get fumbled up. You messy. You messy. That's what it is. You don't get. I, I'm up. just saying. I, I, but but Kevin, welcome to the show, Kevin. How you feeling today, bro? No, I'm feeling great, man. We got Coach Perry in the building. I mean, I can't be not feel great. This, this is going to be a great show. Oh, Kevin, I, I hate to do it, but how'd you get her? You just slid in the DM. How'd you how'd you get Coach Perry, man? How'd you get this amazing? <laughs> What do I tell everybody, B. Jones? Don't be afraid don't be to get in their DMs. For business only, though. Personally, <laughs> <business. laughs> well, hey, well, yeah. Exactly. Ask, or, or, or listen, I got to ask another favor of them. So thank you for being in the show, but don't be afraid to like and subscribe to this show in, in Sports Life Talk tradition. All of y'all who are first-time viewers, we appreciate you coming on. We know that there's a million other sports podcasts, but you allowed us to be a part of your lives, and we want to welcome you in the part of ours. We want you to become part of the Sports Life Talk family. So on to, on the count of three, in tradition, Louisiana Tech, y'all my folks. Y'all got to hold me down. Y'all got to hold me down. Here we go. Let's smash that subscribe button. On the count of three, one, two, three. Ooh. Welcome to the SLT family. Like I've said many, many times before, we don't do fans, we don't do followers, we do family members, and now you're officially part of our family members. And we also want to, you just now got first class tickets to all access backstage passes to over 200 episodes of Sports Life Talk you got next. And we got a lot of dope head coaches, assistant coaches, telling y'all, go, go jump into Mark Highs and just have your way. But today, buckle up because we got a really special one in front of you. Hoping is 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 part of your pedigree. That's just what you do, ain't that right? It is. My parents both played. My parents, siblings played, and it's just been it's a tradition. My younger brother and sister played, so it's just kind of is what we do. We love well, we it. I have talk. a passion for it. Well, we're going to talk all about your passion and where you came from, how you came up. We're going to represent Tennessee. We're going we gonna to get them all in here, but Coach, we got to take you through the Sports Life Talk uh, initiation. Are you ready for that? I'm ready. Let's go. All right. To initiate you into the SLT family, you got to give us your top five uh -huh. music artists. Top five music artists. I'm going to start with Mary J. Blige. Mm. I'm going to go Biggie Smalls. Oh, I'm going to go... Mm -hmm. Luther Vandross. I'm gonna go Anita Baker, and then 
I'm going to have to probably go Janet Jackson. I like that top five. Hey, Joe, you know how normally I say five? Yeah. Give a seven. Give a seven. seven. No, Let me see yeah, what else I got. Because of Luther, Mary J. Blige, uh, Anita Baker, Janet. I mean, I'm all in. I, I love that that R and B. Love the R and B. Man, I love it. I love she it. That's me, awesome, Coach. She took me back on that one, B. Jones. I don't she even took know me about back that on that one too. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Coach. So, who is your favorite superhero and why? Oh man, I would say Batman. Gotta go with Batman. I I just love the the theme of what he did, how he came up. Kind of an underdog, kind of operates like stealthy, out of sight, out of mind, but always in the background getting it done. All right, so B Jones, you already know me and her vibe and Batman. I know, I know. <laughs> but I know, I know yeah. you. I know you ha- you having a good time, Kevin. Yeah, but you got the Louisiana tie, and I got the Batman tie. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So we in it together. That's right. That's right. right. That was fake, B. Jones, by the way. All right, Coach. So for this question, you're going to be Batwoman. So her name is Kate Kane. So since every superhero needs their own theme music, what would yours be? Uh, brick house. She's a brick. Absolutely. Yeah, I like that one. I got to I gotta give a one more for that brick house, yo. That Appreciate that turned that. out quick. Hey, we giving our way all our money and we be jealous. How many things we got left? I think we get two more. Uh, we running low, but all right, it's all right. All right, coach. So with great powers comes great responsibility. We talked about your favorite superhero. You said Batman, and we know that he's part of the Justice League. So people don't realize that you're an associate associate head coach, and that's one step away from having your own program. So we mm-hmm. mentioned your favorite superhero. I want you to assemble your dream coach and staff and it can't be La Tech because we already know you're rocking with them. We already oh, know you're rocking on, with them. that's the crew though. No, okay. Go ahead and g- give your crew a quick shout out but they can't be in your in this question. Okay. And these are all current coaches. Current it, coaches. Uh, they could be they could be dead or alive. It doesn't matter. I would have to go I mean first shout out to the La Tech staff because they're great. Right. Great yes. family. Um, but if I had to a symbol of dream staff. I mean, I got to go with Pat Summit. Oh. Got to do that. I mean, legend. Next person probably be Phil Jackson. Uh, just the Zen, Zen master. Then I'd probably go Popovich. Just yeah. because of what he's done. I mean, how can you lose with that group? With that crew? That's- I can't. I can't. Put everybody around that's smarter than you. That's That's the goal. That's the goal. Well, B. Jones, I thought she was going to struggle a little bit more with that one. No, nah, yeah. I was just about to tell you, she smoked that. <laughs> hey, she, she came off with them three coaches quick. Yeah, but what I had to do, Coach, I had to go ahead and stop people from saying their coaching staff because that's the first thing uh-huh. they going to say. No. Well, you know we have to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we, 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 we totally get that. That's why I should have said, hey, don't hold this against Coach on the court. <laughs> on the court right. of law. Right, 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 right. So on behalf of the SLT Nation, we want to welcome you to our family. So B. Jones, please take it away, man. Ken Folk, welcome to the family. Coach, we're so excited to have you on here. I, I got the opportunity to kind of check you out a little bit. And uh, you're, doing some, you're doing some big things, but uh, you're the first person I've ever heard of coming from Bolivar, Tennessee. Tell us a little bit about what it was like coming, out, coming up out there in Tennessee. Uh, Bolivar, Tennessee. Okay, Bolivar, this is a- see? Yep, West Tennessee, it's probably 30 minutes from Memphis. Um, My parents grew up there, but my dad's retired Air Force, so I claim that as my hometown because my grandma was there. Um, And so it's probably had one stop light. We just recently got that 24 hour Walmart not too long ago, (laughs) Um, but a small country town. I grew up on a farm, actually. And so I love the, that's why I love Ruston, actually. Uh, Small town, everybody knows your name type thing. And I loved it there. All right. Okay. Well, you know, I, I've been arrested a little bit. I, I've been down the street, so I, I know you. I know you all. Uh, I, know, I know you all. Um, uh, you know, kind of got that homegrown, that home roots going, going down I twenty. But uh, exactly. so, when did you fall in love with basketball? You know, I I was in my first basketball league when I was five years old, um, and it's it's kind of crazy. Um, 
because I don't know now it's so much AAU, but I was in the Philippines. My dad's, like I said, retired Air Force, and they put me on the lead uh, team, and we were the Pink Panthers at first, and then we were the Lakers. And I actually uh, met one of my best friends that is now a high school coach at Captain Tree, Keith Green. We were on the same team in the Philippines at five years old, so it's crazy. It's small uh, world, that- it just always comes full circle. And the Camp Shree right down the street from where I, where I, where I live. All right. So, okay. 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 Shreveport. Represent, represent my people. All right. So, so now you, you hoping that the Pink Panthers and uh, when did you realize you were different though, coach? Because I mean, listen, we, we all played our, you know, rec league ball and, you know, we came up to, uh, most, most people, most of the people watching this show probably. So, so when did you realize that, hey, you know, I, I got a little bit of a gift. I can actually take this thing to another level and go play at a Mississippi state. You know what I'm saying? You know what? And I'm I'm gonna be completely honest. I did I didn't know. Um I just did what I love to do it was my passion. So I was overseas a lot of my childhood. So I was in the Philippines for four years. I was in Turkey. My first public school was in Pine Bluff, Arkansas in tenth grade. Had no idea about a recruiting process. This was just I played basketball every day, all day, did my chores just to play basketball. And um, I didn't realize that I was really different until it was all over. And that's that's always my message to these kids is like, enjoy the right now and be in the present. But I honestly, I I was just following my passion and it, and it happened. My parents were really good about making sure I had everything I needed. My my mom was super tough on me and I uh, just turned that over, just kept doing it. Now, Coach, I know you ain't good because I'm talking about the Philippines. Now you're in Louisiana, Arkansas. You missing out all these. I know, I know you ain't good, but uh, but did you ever think that basketball would take you around the globe like it has? I did not. I did not. Um, and it has been really. I think my childhood prepared me for it, but I had no idea that I would meet all the different people, coach uh, all the different kids from different cultures. And the more I coach, the more I learn more from them than they're actually learning from me, just being around the different cultures. Now, uh, so so let's talk about the the transition from being a hoop star, and you and you accomplished a lot. I saw all the all SEC accolades. You top twenty in Mississippi State scoring and rebound. I mean, you got so many uh, so many different accolades. We we could probably just spend the whole thirty minutes just talking about how you play ball, how you play ball, and how you hoop. But we got we got to talk about the, the the job you're doing right now at Louisiana Tech. So so so, but when did you when did the 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 kind of the curtain change or the the flip switch, right? The, sw- the when did you convert from ball player to a coach, and how how did that process happen? Um, pretty quickly. Um, I played overseas, and uh, after I uh, finished school at Mississippi State, I went to Portugal, came back, got married, got divorced, and started working at Georgia Tech. Well, working out at Georgia Tech, to be honest. So I was just working out with the kids, really getting myself in shape to go back to play overseas and the head coach there uh, approached me and said hey I think you you're a coach and I was like uh maybe and she said try it out let's see what you think about it you know and then if you still want to go back overseas and play ball you can and I loved it fell in love with it right away and I always now when I look back I was kind of a coach when I was a player I knew all the positions I knew what we wanted when we wanted it and so I kind of naturally fell into it. And then the relationships were gratifying. Once I turned into being a coach, I'm, you know, being able to mentor young, young girls like me that I was really shy at the time. So it was just like, oh, OK, so she had the same story. So now I can kind of pay it forward. Man, that's crazy. So so let's talk about your journey. So you've been at Kennesaw State. You've been in Mississippi State. Tell, tell us some of the schools and some of the travels, because I, I, I want to get to West Virginia, because that's that's what the story took a crazy turn, right? So so tell us a little bit about some of the schools you took, you coached at. Okay, so I started at Georgia Tech, went back to Mississippi State, went to Toledo, and my move to Toledo was strictly to expand my recruiting base. And the coach at Georgia Tech, she actually played college ball with the head coach at Toledo. So okay. that was the connection there. It's, I mean, it's, we're all connected some kind of way. So, so you've always been kind of mm-hmm. that developer. Is that, what, is that what you pride yourself on as a coach, being able to develop talent? Or you, would you consider yourself more X's and O's, strategy, recruiting? What kind of, what kind of coach are you, Nitra? Uh, I'm a developer. 
Um, and then X and O. Um, the recruiting is is what we have to do. I like the recruiting. I love mm-hmm. the development. And I think it's special when you see when you're able to take a freshman and see the development in those that four year span or however long you have where you're sitting there and you're watching them play. You're saying, you know what? I, I helped. I had a hand in that development and how they are or how they're articulating themselves. And so development isn't always just on the floor. And so it's it's about being better in life as well. So anything that I could do to do that, that's what I was about. All right. So now, now, how did the how did the the transition from Morgantown to uh, to Ruston? How did that all transpire? How'd you get to La Tech? Yeah. Well, I'm from the South, and I, I really did want to get back down south. But um, I talked to the head coach Brooke Store uh, one time, and I was like, uh, she's different. Um, had some opportunities to go what we call Power Five, but just at this point in my career. Um, the relationships and people having like-minded uh, uh, pro- uh, philosophies really matter for me. And so Brooke was that for me. And we're like players. Like, we don't want to admit it, but assistant coaches, we're like players. We want somebody that's going to say, hey, great job. Um, because obviously the more you hear that, the more invested you are, and then the more you're going to put into it. Can, can you still get some buckets though, coach? You talk about you like a player. Can you, can you still hoop a little bit? If I want to preserve these knees and feet, probably <laughs> not. Uh, I've transitioned. I um I hurt my shoulder probably five or six years ago. So then I, now I'm all Peloton. You know, we all transitioned <laughs> to some during the pandemic. And so uh, my my thing is that that treadmill and uh, and Peloton. Coach, so the last two to three years have just been pure madness. Uh, yeah. And you've been you've maintained coaching. I mean, you got Black Lives Matter, you got COVID, you got mental health. Now, on top mm-hmm. of all that, you got NIL. I mean, how do you juggle all of these new? I mean, like literally, college basketball, college sports in general looks totally different than what it yeah. used to look like. Uh, you know, three four years ago. How have you kind of changed your coaching style? to match all of this new energy <laughs> that's that's out there a growth mindset you know knowing that things are going to definitely change all the time and then being ready to make those changes because i was a, a tough player so i you know i wasn't missing practices i definitely wasn't missing practices for an nil opportunity or anything <laughs> right. like that and so just learning that you know times will change it, the change is not always bad you know sometimes as coaches we want that routine, um, but that's where we are right now. So just embracing it. And then our job, I feel like, is to help them understand like the financial part of it, um, the responsibilities of it, and what it looks like to be a true ambassador when somebody's actually paying you to play um, before you're actually what I call a pro. Okay. So they're All already right. pros, you know? So. Yeah. Now, do you like the recruiting aspect of it? And, and uh, do you guys have to have that conversation in the home with these kids very early? Oh, yeah. Um, I like the recruiting part of it because we all want to have a part in who we bring into the program. Um, I think it's more important more now than ever just preserving your culture in the locker room because you do have the transfer portal. Um, and so it's really easy to fall in love with how someone plays versus really getting to know them and understand if they're a fit for our staff and also a fit for the team in the locker room. But we do have those conversations early. Um, just like here at La Tech, we're not for everybody, obviously, you know, um, because we we do, we we pride ourselves in being a family. Our, we have really, really good, like, uh, players that love each other, they hang out. So, yeah, we we want the right kind of players here. Student well, this this is my last question. Now, for those of okay. you who knew, if, if y'all knew to the game, y'all don't understand what La Tech means to, to college basketball. About about 25, 30 years ago, La Tech was UConn. And you, we were putting out some of the best players, some of the best names, winning national championships. Leon Balmore had the program. He, he actually coached Kim Mulkey, came from that program. When you step foot on campus... Did the spirit of Teresa Weatherspoon hit you? I mean, like, did, did, did you have, did, did people talk, did people have those kind of conversations with you? Or like, do you, do you kind of still feel that energy uh, out there? Like that championship vibe at, at Louisiana Tech? I do, but I'm about to age myself because I played against Brooke, who played for Coach Barmore when they were okay. number two in the country. And I was at Mississippi State. 
And you know, this is a shout out to Mississippi State. We beat them. And uh, ah. that was Kamisha Jackson. That was Betty Lennox. Like, there are a lot of players that came through live tech that didn't really get their flowers. And Brooke, being the head coach, obviously now right. uh, is one of them. Um, but yeah, I mean, the. It was the greats of the greatest of the greats that came through Light Tech. So, yeah, I, I definitely felt the winning spirit. I was like, oh, yeah. I mean, when you walk in that gym and you see retired jersey after retired jersey and knowing that you only get retired if you won the championship, and you still see a raptor full of jerseys, it's kind of amazing. It's breathtaking. Yeah, I, I I can't express to people like that. That was the pride of three one eight at one point in time. That's all we had was La Tech basketball holding it down for the entire northern Louisiana. I mean, at one point in time, it was a big big deal. We talked about it daily. I mean, like it was crazy. So I, I always love to get caught up on on my La Tech basketball. But uh, KT, I, I turn it over to you, sir. Now, what's funny about that? When I I'm aging myself too, but I remember when at UTA when La Tech used to come there and play against them. Mm-hmm. And, uh, mm-hmm. and you know, Coach Ham, shout out to Coach Ham, she was on that team. And they, they actually hung with La Tech in the first uh-huh. half. But then the second half was a different story. So, B. Jones, let's go ahead and get to the championship rounds. I want to. Oh, it's that time? It's that time? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that was, that was All right, painful. Coach Nitra Perry. Welcome to the championship rounds. This is the part of the show where Kevin and I, we go against each other. You are now officially calling all of the shots. Have you ever played a game called Would You Rather before? I have. All right, cool, cool, cool. So the rules are very simple. Both hosts will present to you an option. You select one of those options, and whichever one you select will give that coach, uh, that that uh, that host, a point. The first host to get two points, or the best out of three, will win this episode's game of championship rounds. And uh, I don't know. I feel. I feel from. I don't know. I feel some good voodoo on this one. I, I, I feel. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty optimistic right now, Coach Perry. I'm feeling pretty good about this. All right. So here we go. Right. Round number one. Kevin, you are the defending champion, sir. So we're using voodoo now. Okay. Mm-hmm. I didn't know if that's serious. Louisiana. Yeah, I see. But he's she, never she said voodoo before. She get it. He's never she said voodoo that. before. He's trying to get me. All right, coach. Would you rather have a shoe made by Adidas named after you and the proceeds go to multiple scholarships in your name or? Or would you rather have an award named after you? in which somebody gets recognition and of course they get a scholarship all of that good stuff but it's the Nietzsche Perry Trailblazer Award ah, I'm going to have to go with the award not the shoe not the shoe <laughs> yes ah, yeah that was, that's a right. that was a good one that was a good one, but there was only one right answer. You got oh, it right, coach. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Round number two. Would you rather host a YouTube basketball pickup series where you get to interview professional and collegiate athletes while playing basketball one on one in the gym that they grew up in, or host your own cooking show where you interview athletes and celebrities as they take you to their play- favorite places to eat? in their hometowns the cooking show the cooking show i'm a foodie i i i, I like i like to eat <laughs> i was waiting on, i was waiting on that sound effect because you hate it all right <clears throat> so round three for it all would for you all. Rather, yeah fast forward 15 years you're an established head coach but now you have your own coaching tree full of head coaches throughout college or Go back in time, knowing what you know now, and getting a chance to start your coaching career all over with the school of your choice, but not, you know, learning from your mistakes, essentially. I do it all over. Go to the past and, and do it all over again. Got to go with B on that one. <laughs> yeah, he thought he had me, coach. He thought he had me. He was bobbing and weaving. No, he thought he was yeah, doing himself. Yeah. yeah. You, you know why? Put your why L's I, up. Put yeah, your put, L's up. You, you got the win, brother. But you know I knew I was going to lose this one, right? <laughs> because whenever it's a Brandon or somebody from Louisiana, even though you're working in Louisiana, I lose championship rounds. So I already knew. I'm sorry. Let me, I'm uh, sorry. I'm going to hold up this belt. For, y'all watch the next episode when I defend this championship. But uh, I'm going to hold on to it for right now, Kevin. Most definitely. Why are you talking All to me? Right. Just talk to, talk to coach. I'm done with both of y'all for like 30 <laughs> seconds. All right. 
<laughs> Coach Perry, you've been all around the world. You've been all around America. You coach 17 years in the game. Everybody who's just now learning about how amazing you are, we all want to know. The title of the show is You Got Next. What does the future hold for Coach Nitra Perry? Oh, man, as much as I try to stay in the present, um, it's really, I, I enjoy where I'm at now. I, I got here June 20th. Um, and so really get a championship here, get to the NCAA tournament, and then go as far as we can go. And we think we have the team to do it. So I, really? I want to stay okay. within this year. Yeah, I think we, they, they lost in the championship game last year in the conference, Conference USA. Um, but Brooke has done it before. Uh, she's a winner. Um, I've played, obviously, the NCAA tournament, played the SEC championship. So that's what I want. I want this team to win a championship, Conference USA championship, go to the NCAA tournament. Coach tough, KT. She tough. Oh, yeah. No, she kind of reminds me of uh, Tarazi P. Henson some, for some reason, too, man. I kind of see it. I've gotten that before. That's crazy. I, I've heard that. Yeah, I, I see it. So uh, I'm pretty sure. I need Taraji money. Uh, no, yeah. I'm, pretty sure you, I'm pretty sure you got plenty of people's uncles trying to holler at you too. All right, Coach. So, do you oh, have man. any? You have any shouts you want to give? Uh, definitely want to give a shout out to my family, um, all my aunts and uncles, both my families, both my mom and dad, siblings. It's nine of them. So I have eighteen aunts and uncles, and I got a thousand cousins. Um, but uh, also this staff, uh, Brooke Store, she's been really good to me. And then my brother from another mother, Coach Rowe at Alabama, uh, he's he's my guy. So um, just want to give a shout out to those people. All right. So this is a part of the show where you get a chance to call out the person that you think should have next. Tell them, hey, I got a chance to rock with B. Jones or KT. I told them my story. I want you to do the same thing. With that said, Coach, who are you giving your game ball to? Game ball, Coach Roman Tubner at Alabama. He's a recruiting coordinator there. Young guy, and he does it the right way. He works hard, grinders, my type of people. All right, Coach Coach Roman, you said? Yep, Coach Rowe. Coach Rowe, you are officially yeah. on the clock. We're going to be reaching out to you so we can get you on the show. But Coach Nitro Perry, I almost, I, I keep wanting to call you Nitro Perry because you're so hype. You're so explosive. Tell my I know nickname that you, in college, Nitro. I know. I've been, well, I've been yeah. wanting to call you that the whole show. <laughs> but uh, Coach Perry, <laughs> You are amazing. You're a trailblazer. You you the truth. You. I can't wait to see what the future holds for you. And uh, you got next. Sports Life Talk Nation. Oh, my God. Whoops. We have did it again. Y'all keep plugging along with us. Keep rocking with us. We got some more amazing stuff coming. As a matter of fact, lock in with us. This is your opportunity to join the family again. If you stick or stuck around and hung out with us, please smash that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share this episode with uh, someone else because there's people out there that need to hear this story, right? There's kids, all military brats. They want to know what the future holds for them. They need to hear this. It's a way. It's, a, it's if, if you believe there is a way and uh, come hang out with Kevin and I every Wednesday night at 8 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. We go live. We stream on uh, YouTube. So if you, if you hit the bell notification, you'll be notified when we release new shows or when we go live and also we go on twitter as well so come please hang out with us it is an interactive show it is about sports it is about life and it is about conversation we have a great time and you can come be a part of that kevin what am i missing man well b jones a good friend of mine on i um, posted this on ig they said everything that you thought was drowning you actually taught you how to swim coach thank you Ooh. so much for rocking with us Love that. Old lady texters Thank you. Thank you guys for having me. Hey, coach. You're a brick. House. House. <laughs> All right, Sports Life Talk Nation. We love y'all. Stay safe. Be blessed. Respect each other and love one another because together we are better and keep dreaming big because you never know. Your story may be the next one featured on Sports Life Talks. You got next. Yeet. See what's crazy is I knew you had next because you always working, you always grinding, you're in your bag because you're always working. Like in due time, I just I knew you got next. Oh, you did it, huh? Crack the code. You got next, you smashing goals. You want next, you need exposure. Well, sports like talk out the baddest show, like the baddest hut in the room. Podcast to tune into just for you to talk your shit. Talk your mushroom, you want what you eat and you should consume. Sports like talk from the late night to the afternoon, then rest repeat. Hit the like, leave a comment, or subscribe so you don't miss a beat. You got next. Just a small taste of a winning meal from a chef type of celebrity What's up next is you, at least you better be Yeah, you got next, yeah I can feel it, you're a winner just like me You got next, and what comes next? Tune in next time and you'll see Cause if you got next, yeah, if you got next If you got next, then you're just like me If you got next, if you got next, yeah Life talking.
in this 